Adani Enterprises, the flagship company of billionaire Gautam Adani led conglomerate Adani Group, began a record secondary share sale for retail investors on Friday. The follow-on public offer FPO of Adani Enterprises is the largest ever in the history of India, aiming to raise 20,000 crore rupees. The FPO opened today and will be open for public subscription till January 31, 2023. The price band of the Adani Enterprises FPO has been fixed at 3,112 rupees to 3,276 rupees per equity. Adani Enterprises share price was trading lower by over 3% and stood at 3,279 rupees and 25 paise at around 10 am today. The company said it wants to use the proceeds from the FPO for capital expenditure requirements of some subsidiaries and repayment of debts. It may be noted that Adani Enterprises has already raised nearly 6,000 crore rupees from anchor investors ahead of the FPO opening. Group shares under pressure while the much-awaited FPO had received a bullish response on the grey market ahead of the opening, a negative report by an US-based investment research and short-seller firm has dented sentiments and shares of all Adani Group companies have been impacted. US-based Hindenburg Research released a report on January 24, raising concerns about the group's mounting debt, besides accusing it of irregularities. Shares of listed Adani Group companies fell sharply on Wednesday, following which the group had issued a statement to rubbish the report as baseless and malicious. Adani Group also questioned the timing of the report and said it is evaluating legal action against the US short seller. However, Hindenburg Research swiftly released another statement on Thursday, which was a domestic market holiday, and said it stands by its findings and said it would welcome legal action. It also urged the group to file a lawsuit in the US where it operates. When stock markets opened on Friday, Adani Group companies continued to face panic selling as investors remained worried after the report. FA analysts have asked investors not to worry and hold on to their holdings as none of the findings of the report have been proven till date. They have also questioned the timing of the report as it was released just ahead of the FPO. Esquire Capital Investment Advisors Chief Executive Samrat Dasgupta told Reuters that he does not see much effect of the Hindenburg report, adding that the FPO should sail through successfully. Brokerage firm Jeffries said Adani Group had shared details of debt and leverage levels and added that it does not see material risk arising to the Indian banking sector. The brokerage said Adani Group's total consolidated gross debt stood at 1.9 lakh rupees crore, which is at a manageable level and no investor has raised any concern.